Right, thanks very much. Thanks, Stuart. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome our ambassador from Parnell, Kevin Harvey. Kevin, along with his father Les, began the creation of the Parnell Village back in the early 70s. Today, it remains one of New Zealand's top tourist attractions. Kevin Harvey! Hi, how are you going? Very good. How is the second most handsome man in New Zealand? So I often feel, you know, when I'm looking in the mirror and uh, I'm thinking, God, what a beast. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, I'm, I feel very sorry for all the people that were born on the same day because I obviously took all their beauty. You I? did. And sometimes I feel guilty, and then otherwise, other times I just think, oh. My mother used to have hell? a. My mother mm. used to have a saying, uh, you know, about the sayings about the previous generation. She always used to say, "He was certainly behind the door when the looks were given out." Can you yeah. remember that saying? No, that no. was an old saying, wasn't it? Uh, no, I only know the one about a face, a face good for television, was it? Oh no, for radio. <laughs> <laughs> I got a face. Uh, anyway, Kevin, yeah. you're here to discuss that wonderful, wonderful. Fabulous uh, suburb in yeah. Auckland called yeah. Parnell. I, I didn't have time today to um, to nab anybody. Nab anybody. Um, what are your tenants? So, what yeah, are your one tenants? of my tenants. But uh, we have got a lot going on, so yes. I thought I'd come down anyway. Yep. Um, I would have been very sad if you hadn't come down, Kevin, if you'd used hmm. that as an excuse. But we have got a lot of very exciting um, new tenants. A coffee guy who's yep. going to go in where uh, uh, Kazim was. Yep. A proper little coffee shop. Um, that sounds great. I have a, a health shop going in, you know, where the, with all the proper squeezed juices and um, what do you call it, you know, what do you call it, bashed um, avocado on toast. On, they're making to make their own bread. Um, they're going to have all pressed coffee, which is beautiful coffee. Um, and a fabulous new mm. restaurant where Iguazu used to be. So that's, yep. it's open now. Tell, and it's, it's open now. And it's, called, and it's pulled back all of the old Parnell people yep. uh, that used to go to um, Iguazu. Yeah. Um, except it's, they've actually, uh, Ramiz has done a remarkable job. And it's, it's, even, uh, it's even more beautiful than, it than what it used to yeah. be. And, um, and there's a pine pi pineapple bar now, isn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Dana's. Um, yeah. He's not a tenant of ours, but he's a lovely man. Yeah. Um, he's a very, very competent. Um, now the very down I, to earth, fantastic man. The reason I know this, Kevin, is last week or two weeks ago, I went to the, the Pussy Galore party. and um, I love it when you talk dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you were telling me a wonderful story. I think you should tell our, our viewers that you were put off by going to the Pussy Galore party, party because you thought it was, um, was a little bit rude, but it wasn't rude at all because... Well, mm. yes, I thought it might have been some other sort of an opening. Yeah. Uh, and, so, <laughs> and our but, very next mm, guest mm. is uh, Anne, who was one of the um, Real Housewives of Auckland. She was the person mm. in charge of it. And and throws a pussy galore party twice a year to raise funds for uh, cats that are on the street. And oh, yeah? she wants to get them off the street, you know, and mm. get them de-sexed. But she's, Anne's going to tell us all about so that. So how, do, how does she go with our latest politician, Gareth Morgan? Well, she has mentioned on the program, he is not a, she is not a big fan of Gareth Morgan. He wants no. to take out all the cats. But mm. she wants to leave them on the street, but make sure they're de-sexed. I went to the pineapple bar at yeah. the end of it, so I could feel that Parnell was start is starting to yeah. get back to its well, old. I, so I was across the road at, at, yeah. at the new restaurant, and that night, the whole of Parnell was humming. Yes, you know, it was, wasn't and, it? and it felt really, really like the old days, like yeah. the old days. Yeah. And, um, and I suddenly realised, wow, we've got some great, great rest restaurateurs here. Lovely bars, mm. um, and it's all compact. It's a bit like when you go to Wellington. Yeah. Everything's all close, and, and it's beautiful. I love going to Wellington. Mm. Uh, but Parnell's starting to get a very, very ambient um, feel. Yeah. Mm. And um, I'm just waiting to hear on a very, hopefully very exciting thing, but I can't say too much at the moment, except to say that they're, they're iconic, they're iconic uh, fashion designers. Um, they've been around, you know, Auckland for a long time. Don't say too much. I'm not going to say too much. I'm not because you could get into trouble, like President know. Trump, giving away details yeah. and top secret meetings. You see. Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm probably almost equally stupid. <laughs> mm. uh, well, my God, he's a fool, isn't he? No, he's not, Kevin. He's he's my hero. Mm. So uh, I think he's a great man. So um, actually, I, I find him. Um, I've become you know so bored with all these live television programs, and I find. Trump is the most amazing live television performer. I can't wait to see what 
he's cock up he makes dicks. <laughs> um, he definitely um, he thinks on his feet, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he does. well, you yeah. know. He's wonderful. Yeah, he's a he, he is he is he's very interesting. You know, mm -hmm. he's the sort of guy that could actually possibly almost broker a peace deal because he's so stupid. You know. <laughs> 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 Well, we haven't been too happy with the last uh, three or four presidents, have we? So, um, uh, no, I do like him. But back to Parnell. Mm. One day, one day President Trump will visit Parnell like Pl President Clinton did. Remember that? So, um, yep, so you're, you're going to have to be nice to him when he across. arrives, aren't you, That's uh, going to be hard. That's going to be extremely hard. <laughs> now, Kevin, mm. um, a little bit of disturbing news. You went to the doctor a week ago and he told you that you have had to go on a diet. Now, The uh, cardiologist, yes. The cardiologist. Um, what? I've got quite a bit of plaque from, from my gluttonous lifestyle. Oh, well, now tell me about mm. this plaque. Is it good plaque or um, I don't top think class a, plaque? Or? Yeah, oh, it's high quality plaque, yes. High quality plaque. plaque yes. So what were you feeling? Feeling a little bit... Um, no, I actually just went uh, for some tests because uh, some of my friends had, a couple of my friends had passed away from heart attacks and I thought, and Dad had had a heart attack when he was 60. So I thought I'd better go. Um, just check it out. Mm, and uh, anyway, so I have to change my lifestyle. So um, Oh no, I, I that's going to be terrible. I haven't had a glass of wine since Saturday. Yeah. I haven't had any, no red meat. Um, and I hate to admit it, but I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> You know, it's, it's a sad old thing, isn't it? There's no <laughs> substitute for so, that. Should there be a pill that you get to a certain age where you say to yourself, oh, what's the point? And you take this little pill mm. and uh, it's all over. I don't think it doesn't work like that. Um, I think both on a cellular level, your body wants to live. It's, that's, it's just programmed to want to live. It yeah. doesn't want to die. And I'm sure that, um, I, I mean, I, as you know, uh, you met Pete that I looked after that died yep, of cancer. Yeah. Um, he fought it right to the end. I think, you know, as who, I don't know who, who said it, but, you know, who would want to be 100? And then the answer was anyone that's 99. <laughs> <laughs> who would want to be 100? Anyone that's 99. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Treat yourself to a Parnell day. Mm. That's, uh, can we talk to all our viewers throughout New Zealand? If you're coming to Auckland, yeah. Come up to Parnell. Yeah, well, you actually, it, it, is a, it, it, is yeah, it is a treat. Yeah, it is a treat. Most of your viewers, but probably not all of them, but they deserve a good day out. A good day out. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's that's people outside yeah. of Auckland, but even to Aucklanders, you live in Auckland. What yeah. about revisiting or come back to Parnell? Everybody, yeah. people that li 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 live live around Parnell, mm. um, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had a I had a, a a tourist that was asking about food. He was obviously hungry. He was from uh, Italy. And so I took him down to NSP, and I just I just paid his bill for him. I didn't tell him. Yeah. I just left him there, and um, and so he he would have been in for a nice surprise. Wow, what a lot! But lovely. you know we're there we're 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 hosts. Yes, you um, are. And myself and all my tenants, we have responsibility. Uh, you know, to to look after the uh, our guests. Mm. Mm, this way I see it, and it's the way most of my tenants see it. Kevin, we're running out of time, but we're going to keep talking about Parnell because coming up after you is Anne, and uh, that's her heart that is. Yeah. So, Kevin, all right. Thanks, Kevin. Bye bye. Thank you, Kevin.